Hello everybody and welcome back to another Final Fantasy 14 video. In this video we're going to continue on with uh, the main scenario quest. So we're going to run over here and talk to Tatru. I think that's how you say her name. Also, we can unlock the raids. So it looks like unless I do the crystal tower, I won't be able to continue on with the main scenario quest. Let's find out. Because if I can't and I have to do the crystal tower, I'm going to level up my paladin to level 50 and do it through that because my scholar is already at 52.
Okay, so we still can do new quests. Alright, so now we gotta go to Horizon. Uh, my eyes twitching. Ah.
Now then. Tis I. The situation may be more complicated than we anticipated. Indeed. I shall remain watchful. Ere thou goest, another matter requireth thine attention. A young maiden, full eager to... Wherefore inquirest thou of her fairness? Oh, very well. Be she damsel or devil, I shall direct her steps to Revenant's toll. Save thine insinuations for one given to such impropriety. Thou shalt not find me amenable. Across the sea from the land of Doma have we traveled. We seek audience with the ruler of these lands. Who here speaks for you? Alright, so I'm not going to get the earrings because I have the earrings that help me level up and they're better than a lot of the earrings I think until either level 70 or like beyond level 70, I'm not sure which one.
Movement in the distance, okay. Oh, I didn't bring out my fairy. Wrong thing. Alright, so it looks like it's the Sea Wolves Thieves. Um, never heard of them, but that's who attacked us. So now we're going to talk and find out the next thing. <laughs> think it is something else sitting there you just gonna give me another stoic nod aren't you aren't you yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> my character's just like nod <laughs> oh okay <Right>, good <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to keep going on with the main scenario quest. It said that we're going to have to do the raid, so I'm going to do main scenario quest until I can't anymore. And then I'm going to level up my paladin. I think it's my paladin's 35 or 37, somewhere around there. So I don't have too much longer to go before it gets to 50. And I'll use my paladin for the raids. 
That way I don't overlevel my scholar. We got here quick. Whoa. They may be being pursued by some. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's just going off on my character right now. Because all my character does is nod. <laughs> He's over there. I do enjoy your sparkling repertoire. Which would imply that I'm talking back to him, but I'm not. So we're gonna uh, teleport to Udall. Or Uda. Apparently that's how you say it. I still think Square Enix should have made it to where our character did talk as well, or was given the option to talk. And we could hear our character's voice. But I think what the, the why there's so many jokes in there is because Square Enix realized what they were doing, which was not letting our character talk at all. So they put those jokes in there as kind of like, you know, can Com like comedy. I don't know how to say that word, apparently. Okay. I went the wrong way around. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I passed it. <laughs> <laughs> Today ain't my day, apparently. Okay, quicksand, so the Adventurer's Guild. Right. I think that's right. Uh, we'll, we'll find out if I'm right.
I used that crystal right this time. I didn't hit X twice like I normally do. That's a first. Probably the last one in a long time because I said that's first. We have traveled some several thousand miles across the sea from the nation of Doma in hopes that we might find sanctuary in these lands. Sanctuary, Lady Yugiri? Aye. Lying within Othard, Doma was under the dominion of the Galian Empire, as I'm sure you are aware. When the War of Succession broke out in Garlemald, we espied an opportunity to free ourselves from the yoke of imperial oppression and took up arms. Only to be crushed. And so I gathered what few domains escaped the reckoning and guided them hither to your shores. A war of succession? Then the Emperor... Forgive me. You said that Doma was under imperial rule, did you not? Doma is gone. Raised to the ground as an example to the other provinces. Twelve have mercy. And your people. On a ship anchored in Vesper Bay, flying borrowed colors. Many were complicit in the rebellion, or are kin to those who were. They will not come ashore until I send word that it is safe to do so. I sought an audience with your rulers, but was summarily refused. The lords of Ulda are not wont to entertain foreign refugees without suitable encouragement. Mayhap I was foolish to expect otherwise. But our supplies run low and we have young ones in urgent need of care. I have seen the tents outside the gates, however. We are not the first to seek asylum. Nor will we be the last. Be that as it may, Ulda is no friend to Garlemald. Your tale would stir the hearts of many men and women here. The Sultana and the Syndicate will not be so easily swayed. But I shall see that you are granted an opportunity to plead your case. This is within your power? Well, far be it from me to boast, but I do have the ear of certain influential individuals. I am in your debt. Lady Yugiri, forgive me for observing, but your choice of attire seems like to evoke feelings of mistrust. Men are wont to fear the unfamiliar. We know this from experience. We seek only to spare the people of Uldar unnecessary disquiet. I shall defer to your experience, then. I thank you for your understanding. It seems I have urgent business with the Flame General. I leave our guests in your capable hands.
All right, so now we gotta head to the Sapphire Avenue Exchange where we can get the we can get some food for the refugees. Getting mad because they're losing all that food. almost did it. I had to stop myself. You can see the pause on the video. <laughs> Barry hit X like immediately. Oops. Missed the door. Now let her know that all that food's over there. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the Chamber of Rule, I believe. Yeah, the Chamber of Rule.
I, Yugiri of Delma, am honored to meet you at last, Your Grace. To mark this auspicious occasion, I should like to present to you the finest treasures our humble nation has to offer. Alas, the circumstances which have brought me here today have divested me of both time and dignity. I come before you as a pauper in direst need of aid, to request that you grant my people asylum. I, Nanamo, 17th in the line of Ul, welcome you to our city. Be at ease, Lady Yugiri. Although I myself have heard the tale of your misfortune, I would ask that you recount it once more for the benefit of the others here present. As you wish, Your Grace. For many years, my nation, Doma, suffered under the yoke of imperial rule, and my people yearned to be free. Thus, when a war of succession broke out in Garlemald, we sought to take advantage of the chaos and reclaim our liberty. Alas, our enemy proved less preoccupied than we had hoped, and our rebellion was put down in the most brutal fashion. Those who survived, how many do they number? More than 200 souls huddle within the cramped confines of our own galleon's hold. Yet this figure accounts for but one of the number of ships which escaped the purge. It is my hope that you will allow us all to dwell within your walls. Should that prove unfeasible, however, I humbly ask that you accept as many of my people as your resources allow. Pray understand, we do not beg a boon, but propose instead an arrangement. We would serve as soldiers or tradesmen until our debt is repaid. What are the Syndicate's opinions on this matter? I, for one, think it's a marvelous idea. Lady Yugiri and her people strike me as an industrious lot, and there are parts of the city which have yet to be fully restored. If they are willing to work, I see no reason not to let them. The head of the Mirage Trust is not known for his generosity. He sees profit in this. I agree. That said, these are foreign refugees. To admit them would require a formal resolution. Shall we call a vote? The law is the law. Lord Lola Rito? Tell me, are you blind or willfully ignorant? Even now, our streets are choked with the displaced victims of the Calamity and Alamegan refugees. They live hand to mouth. Subsisting on aid provided by the immortal flames, the cost of which grows ever higher. The wealth of Ulda is not without limits, my friends. And need I remind you that these refugees are prone to violence and criminal activity? You have all read the reports, I think. Without homes or employment, it is only a matter of time before men grow desperate and take that which they imagine has been unjustly denied them. Yet, knowing this, you would have us swell their ranks. Mayhap you think the brass blades and the flames are not hard-pressed enough? Some say the chairman of the East Aldenard Trading Company passes Gil thrice daily. This may explain how he came to be the wealthiest man in Uldar. Or it may simply be that he's ruthless beyond reckoning. Surely the Sultanate can support the few hundred domains Lady Yugiri represents. That our resources have been taxed, I do not deny. But we are hardly in danger of financial collapse. I move that an exception be made. An exception, Your Grace? I am suddenly reminded of a similar debate some years ago regarding a number of Alamegan refugees, if memory serves. 
What were your words that day? <sighs> ah, yes. The law is the law. And so our visitors remained in Little Alamigo. Mayhap our wise and benevolent Sultana would be so good as to enlighten us as to which other of our laws should not be upheld. Mind your tongue, Lolorito. My lord, I share your concern for the welfare of our great nation, but we must endeavor to take a longer view. You know as well as I that people can be a resource still more precious than you. Precious or not, they were never yet so reliable. And unlike those who frequent your establishment, I have no desire to gamble with my future. Uldar's greatest asset is, and has ever been, her material wealth. We risk this at our peril. One need only look to Telegi Adelegi's example for evidence of the danger in allowing sentiment to dictate policy. How far the vaunted Mirage have fallen, both in repute and profitability, since he began employing refugees. How I choose to conduct my affairs is not your concern, my lord. A proposal has been tabled. Given its urgency, I move we forego further debate and call a vote. To accept the Doman refugees or not. Those in favor, I bid you remain. Those opposed, I bid you leave. That it were within my power to welcome you and your people, Lady Yugiri. As you have observed, however, my authority in such matters is regrettably limited. Without the consent of the Syndicate, I cannot act. I understand, Your Grace. And I appreciate all that you have done on our behalf. The nerve of the man! If that bastard had not forsaken the Eastern Trade Route, Little Alamigo would now be thriving. Oh, that you should have traveled so far under such dire circumstances, only to be refused in this manner is utterly unconscionable. Pray, accept my sincerest apologies. Now that the Empire no longer poses an immediate threat, they see little reason to maintain the pretense of unity. The Monitorists have grown especially defiant of late. Lord Lolorito most of all. But this is neither the time nor place for that discussion. get a ring I think Is that... Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to head to the Rawl... Rawl. Well, now we're going to head to the Hall of Flames. <laughs> we're going to head to the Hall of Flames and talk to General Raban. <laughs> 
I don't know why I got so tongue tied right there. Okay, Adventurer's Guild.
Oh. Do that. Oh, there it is. I better say, what's going on? Alright, um, <clears throat> so that's going to be it for this video. Um, we had a bunch of long cut scenes in this video, so this video is going to be quite a bit longer. So we were able to do a bunch of the main scenario quests. Well, not a bunch, a little bit. And get the Domas a place to stay. So in the next video, we're going to continue on with the main scenario quest. Um, like I said, though, if we get to a point in the story where we can't continue because we have to do the raids, then I'm going to... Because I'm, I'm, I'm leveling up my Paladin to get it to level 50. That way I can get Poetics. So I can buy gear, weapons, stuff like that. Um, but if I have to... If I get to the point of story where I can't continue because I didn't do the raids, then I'll just quickly level up my paladin, well quicker than I have been doing, so that way I can do the raids with my paladin, and then be able to do the raids and continue on with the main scenario quest. If you guys like this video, you like this series, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, when you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I release a video. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, leave a comment down below. In the top right corner of the screen, you should see a link pop up. That's going to be to that's going to be my channel, so you can subscribe to me. And it's also going to be my Final Fantasy XIV playlist. So you can click on the playlist and go to whichever video you want. Or if you want to watch all of it, you can click on it and hit play all. Whatever you want to do. This is Trent. Take care.